As a highly gifted musician, my next guest was destined for great things from a young age. Grace Fisher's entire world revolved around her passion for music as a classically trained pianist and cellist, who also excelled on guitar. She was actually preparing to take her place at the prestigious Berklee College of Music. But at age 17, a devastating illness would change her world forever. Her story actually became the subject of the award-winning documentary, Amazing Grace, taking Grace and her family on a journey they could never have imagined. It was Grace Fisher's dream to become a performing artist. I knew music was gonna be a part of my life. I wanted to have it as a career. But at her 17th birthday party, Grace's life took an unimaginable turn. I got this very sharp pain in my neck that was followed by numbness in my hands. I knew something was very wrong. With her health deteriorating rapidly, Grace was rushed into the hospital. I lost the ability to walk, and I was put on a ventilator and pretty much life support. Shocking news was to come. They ended up diagnosing me with acute flaccidomyelitis, a very rare polio-like illness affecting mostly children. Grace was facing the devastating reality that she would be paralyzed from the neck down. I was like, wow. I can't move, I can't feel anything. I, I've i lost my whole future. But even as she tackled grueling months of rehabilitation, her passion for music began to shine through. I had a dream about playing piano with a mouth stick. I can move my neck and I still have that knowledge of music in my brain, even if it's not in my fingertips anymore. Playing melodies with her mouth stick reignited Grace's passion, inspiring her to start composing her own original music. I may not be able to play piano or play cello, but writing something and then being able to hear it played by an orchestra is just something unexplainable. Please welcome Grace Fisher to the TAM fam. Oh, goodness. It is so good to have you on, Grace. Just watching the arc of your story and seeing this beautiful young woman in front of us smiling, it just brings such warmth to my heart. Congratulations on everything that you've achieved. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of course. Going back to when you learned um, about of the paralysis, as I understand, you didn't realize that it would be permanent, and then through physical therapy, working through rehab, that's when you realized it. How do you even process something like that? Well, uh, when I was in the hospital, I was never told that I would never walk again. My parents are both physical therapists, so I really trusted them. I trusted their opinion on what they thought was going to happen. And, you know, I don't know the the outcome of what, of what may be, but um, I'm very open to new possibilities. And with the support of my family and community, I've really, they've really helped me embrace who I am now. Yeah. And that's what's so beautiful about the story, Grace. I, I... I'm sure, at least I'll be honest, I, I probably would have gone through the why me stage, right? Because you're getting ready to go to Berkeley. You're at this pivotal point in your life, but it seems to me, because you are still young, you move past looking back and manage to look forward. Um, was that, is that just your personality? Was it because of your parents? What was it that allowed you to shift and say, I can look forward because looking back doesn't serve me? Yeah, so looking back and thinking about what my future was going to become, it put me in a very repressed state. And so um, I think just opening the possibilities of my life may be very different now, but different doesn't necessarily mean worse. It's That's just... Right. That's right. Different. Different. Coming up, how Grace found a way to create beautiful music. And what does it feel like for her to have an orchestra perform what she's created? More with Grace Fisher after the break. It was hard. 
hard because I, I heard from so many different people, so many different places. You're in my prayers constantly. Thousands of people probably from across the country and, and even worldwide that were praying for me to get better, but I, but I wasn't getting better. Welcome back. We're talking about those never could I have imagined moments in everyone's life. And back with us is gifted musician and composer Grace Fisher. And that was a clip from the documentary Amazing Grace, which tells the story of Grace's medical diagnosis that left her paralyzed from the neck down. But the inspiring journey that she's continued to pursue music as her passion and create beautiful music, by the way. The film is being featured at this year's Real Abilities Film Festival here in New York City. Joining us also is Grace's mom, Debbie. Thank you so much for joining us, Debbie. You have to be so <laughs> proud of her. You know, when, when, when Grace came to the realization that playing uh, the piano or the cello was not the option, but she could create music with the mouth stick and create beautiful music, I, I can't imagine the pride that you felt watching this child of yours be so resilient. Truly, and you know, she spent hours practicing her instruments. So to hear her in front of the computer composing music, um, I was just so proud of her that she was finding that passion in a different way. She was able to channel that, that positive energy. You know, Grace, one of my favorite gospel songs is Amazing Grace. I can't even hear it. I'll start weeping. And when I saw that this was the title of your documentary and saw your story, I truly felt that. I felt this is Amazing Grace. She is able to do this. Had you ever seen someone perform with a mouth stick before? How did you pick that up? No. And yeah, honestly, it, I had a dream about doing that. And um so yeah, it really it came to me in a dream. Wow. What is it like to hear an orchestra or anyone perform your music that you've created? Unexplainable oh. because I can hear it played back through the computer, but to hear live musicians actually play it and each musician has a unique background. And so to hear all these players together is just something so special. Oh. Well, I know that I know that you work um, very hard to advocate for young people with disabilities, and it has not gone unnoticed. Everything you do, take a look at this video. Grace is one of those people that, when life gives you lemons, she makes the sweetest, tastiest lemonade. She took a really tough situation and continues to be a tough situation, and makes really wonderful things to help other people. She finds a way to do whatever she wants. And for other people, especially children with disabilities, that is priceless. Grace, that was Kaylee Faruqi and her daughter, Dylan, who attends the adaptive dance class that helps, that Grace, you help to teach. When you see other kids younger than you be inspired by you, how does that feel? These kids may look at me and see inspiration, but I I see Dylan and mm. I'm inspired by her, her uh. spirit and her family. I see the way they live and I'm inspired by them as well. Oh my gosh, you are amazing, Grace, for sure. <laughs> Debbie, thank you so much for joining us as well. And, I, and as I said, as a mom, I know how proud you are of her and for her gift to continue to be shared with others means the world to I know to your family. So thank you so much for joining us. 